So we all know America produces the very best athletes in all of the world. However, most of these athletes don't play soccer. So I have to ask the question, what if our best athletes played soccer? So I've decided to make a hypothetical all-time America starting 11 for soccer. Let's go. Starting as our goalkeeper, LeBron James, King James himself, great size and athleticism. Who is getting past the king in goal? This guy is keeping clean sheets every single game. In front of him, our first center back is going to be Dennis Rodman, the greatest hustle player and rebounder in NBA history. He will be an absolute menace, and no striker or attacking player is going to enjoy playing against him. He is going to absolutely be a nuisance. Dennis Rodman is going to be shutting people down. Making up the partnership for the center back is going to be NFL safety Ed Reed. This man is a very strong defensive player, and he's athletic enough that he can take the ball in attack, and he can track down attackers that are making runs in behind. Ed Reed is going to solidify that center back duo, and they're just going to be almost impossible for attacking teams to break down. Now, our outside right back is going to be the cheetah himself, Tyreek Hill. Absolute amazing world-class speed. This man is going to be able to get up and down the flanks from the right back position, and nobody's going to be able to handle it. You think players like Kafu are hard to deal with? He's going to be way crazier. Now we got Deion Sanders on the left back. Deion Sanders played in the NFL and in Major League Baseball. He's a two-sport professional athlete. And he can play both ways. He played both defensively and offensively in the NFL. He was a great cornerback, and he could also return on punts and kickoffs. This man has crazy levels of athleticism. I'm telling you, prime time is going to left light up the left side on outside back. Now, getting to our midfield, we're going to start with Tom Brady. He is going to be playing as a deep lying playmaker. Now, Tom Brady isn't the physical specimen a lot of other players are. However, Tom Brady has a sports IQ that is absolute genius level, and he has incredible vision. His passing range is going to be absolutely amazing for this team. He's going to be able to find any pass on the field, and he's going to be able to read the game in ways that almost no other players can do. Beside him in the midfield, Bo Jackson. Some people call him the best athlete of all time. Another player who played in the NFL and Major League Baseball and was named an all-star in both. This man is an absolute freak of nature athlete. He's going to be able to play box to box and he's going to be able to both create and destroy everything you would want in a midfielder. Then our attacking midfielder. None other than one of the best point guards the NBA has ever seen. An assist legend, John Stockton. John Stockton is going to be our central attacking man, our number 10, our playmaker. This man is going to be able to serve up assist like no one's ever seen before. This guy is absolutely going to be clutch for our team. Now, we need some tricky wingers. And who better than Allen Iverson? Allen Iverson's going to play on the left wing. And you want to see dribbling skills, creativity, breaking people's ankles. This is the man for the job. He is going to terrorize back lines. And he's going to leave them in his dust. He's going to make people fall over and look silly. You want skills, you want creativity, and you want goals? That's Allen Iverson. And on the opposite side, we're going to have the all-time greatest wide receiver in NFL history, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is going to bring class, skill, sports IQ, and just a lot of different abilities. And he's going to be an excellent winger on the right side. He will be able to both create and score himself, and he will be able to just bring so much experience to this team, and he's going to be invaluable for it. And of course, starting up top as our center forward, the greatest American athlete of all time, the basketball goat, Michael Jordan. Here's the thing. Michael Jordan has literally everything. 
He has better athleticism than pretty much any athlete in the history of sports. He's fast. He's agile. He can jump. He's technically brilliant. He could do anything with the ball. And he's also an absolute genius when it comes to the game. He understands the game better than anyone else. I cannot see this man being anything but one of the greatest players of all time. He'll be able to score with his head, his right foot, his left foot. He'll be able to take players on 1v1. He'll be able to receive the ball back to goal, turn and score. This man will be able to do everything. Not to mention, he's going to be banging home crosses from headers two, three feet over the crossbar. And literally nobody is going to be able to defend him. So this is what our lineup looks like. Recapping. We got King James, LeBron, in goal. Dennis Rodman, Ed Reed in the center backs. Deion Sanders at left back. Tyreek Hill as right back. Tom Brady as a defensive playmaking midfielder. Bo Jackson, box-to-box midfielder. John Stockton, our number 10, playing attacking midfield. Allen Iverson on the left wing. Jerry Rice on the right wing. And Michael Jordan, the GOAT up top. Now, you can't tell me that if this team played soccer, they wouldn't win World Cups. In fact, the better question would be, who would finish second to them? Because this team would absolutely strike fear into opponents, and they would be winning games almost before they've even started, because these guys, they're just a level of athlete most of the world hasn't seen, and I wish we could have seen them play soccer. It would have been so much fun. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Who else do you think maybe should be on this lineup instead. How about our backup players? Let me know in the comments. Peace.